previously on Pacific Palisades. Only you and I know the truth. You, me, and Walter. Walter's dead. You better hope he didn't keep any records. I'll worry about the dead man. You make sure the collapse is ruled an unfortunate accident. You're too good to be true. Well, I'd be foolish to argue with you. Mrs. Cruz, I'm Matt Gunning, the general contractor who worked for the Esma. I remember you from Walter's funeral. You know, some people say that Palisades is the last friendly place in the city. It's certainly beginning to feel that way. You're home. Before I'm through, my cabin will be mine. I'm pregnant. You have to tell Robert. Why? I know your mood. Something's bothering you. I'm in love with another woman. You work closely with him. Do you have any idea? No. I broke up my marriage over you. You made a mistake. Where were those tickets to? Cabo San Lucas. Who's the other one for? Jessica Mitchell. Jessica? <laughs> Russo and Associates, please hold. No, I'm sorry he's not in today. Okay. Russo and Associates. Oh, one moment, please. Russo and Associates, please hold. Oh, hi, Kate. Hi, Beth. Um, Robert's not here. I know. How are you? Never better. Why shouldn't I be? Well, I... Yeah, I know. You're just uncomfortable because Robert and I separated. Don't give another thought. He's fine. I'm fine. The whole world's fine. That's good. I know it's kind of clumsy right now, but, uh, I'm gonna need to stop in from time to time, so I, I do want to keep things on a friendly basis. Oh, absolutely. People are staring at me. Well, they're a little curious about what's going on. Yeah. Maybe I should say something. Uh, li listen up, everyone. Um, okay, I know by now that you've all heard about this little rift between Robert and me. Uh, but I do want to assure you that this is an amicable separation, okay? No one should feel awkward about this. I, I don't. Robert doesn't. Truth be told, he's thrilled. <laughs> Jessica doesn't. Uh, do you, Jessica? Oh. Have I put you on the spot? At a loss for words, are you? So, why should she feel awkward? Well, I'll tell you. Because, lo and behold, Jessica Mitchell is the other woman. That's such a stuffy expression, isn't it? What should I call you, Jessica? Um, homewrecker? Mistress? Harlot? Whore? Trollop? That's my personal favorite. <laughs> Maybe I should just simply refer to you as your basic college-educated, pedigreed slut. Yeah. Yeah, I think that works. Slut. You have a nice day. brushing twice a day. I don't want you to trip and fall. I'm not gonna fall. Oh. Careful. Don't have a cow. I can make it to the front door on my house. I'll get your things. Hi. Hi. I see the little one's home from the hospital. 
Yeah. How is she? Raring to go. It's a uh, broken wrist was the only damage. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah, I'll say. Well, I imagine it's been pretty crazy for you with the walkway collapse, Rachel in hospital, not to mention this whole mess of Robert and Kate. Yes, it has. <sighs> Such a shame about those two. Yeah, it sure as heck took me by surprise. Well, it um, just goes to show that you can't always tell when marriage is in trouble. I guess. You know, some men look happy, but deep down inside, they're restless. I mean, after a while, one woman just isn't enough. I didn't figure Robert was that type. You know, I don't think it's type. I think it's biology. I mean, it's hard to fight your natural urges. <laughs> By the way, I know how difficult it is moving to a new area. If ever you want to talk, just stop by. Don't be shy. Anytime, day or night. That's very neighborly of you. Jessica, go away. Come on, you can't stay in there forever. I'm not coming out. Well, you're gonna have to come out sooner or later. I choose later. How much later? <laughs> Christmas. Come on, Jessica, you don't have to hide. Yes, I do. I can't look anyone in the eye. You can look me in the eye. You're just saying that. You're thinking the same thing everyone else is thinking. And what I'm thinking is that there's a lot of women out here who would like to use the restroom, but they don't want to disturb you in your time of crisis. Sorry. Ooh, you look god-awful. What do you expect? I just aged 10 years at warp speed out there. Yeah, I always figured Kate was the quiet, shy type. I deserved it. Don't deny it. You said don't deny it. I'm such a fool. I can't believe I fell in love with a married man. Don't take this the wrong way. But what were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. It was a chemical reaction. It was love at first sight. And then the more I got to know him, the harder I fell. Well, I guess you're not the first woman to make a mistake. Yeah, but me? I mean, I grew up in a decent home. I went to Sunday school every week. I don't even cheat on my income tax returns. I'm not the type of person to get involved with someone else's husband. Please tell me this is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Thanks for trying. Come here. Hey, Doc, how you doing? Good, good. Are you going to shoot the track again today? No, I gotta work, which is obviously a foreign concept mm -hmm. to you, Jake. Sweetheart, if I could pick horses the way you did the other day, I wouldn't have to work. I got lucky. You know, you wanna stop by my pad later on tonight. I got a hell of a poker game shaping up. Thanks, but no thanks, I'm not interested. Since when are you not interested in winning money? Since I began earning enough of it to keep away from the likes of you. What are you saying? Wait a minute, what are you saying? What are you saying, you quitting gambling? That's about the size of it, yeah. And why did I see you at the racetrack placing bets? Just correcting a temporary setback. Corey, 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 you can't quit gambling. It's in your blood. You watch me. Hi, Mitch. So, yes, sir. I heard you sold the Stevens house. Only 2,000 below asking. You're amazing. What can I say? I love my work. You've worked for me for how long now? Oh, nearly four years? I'm gonna miss you. Oh, where are you going? Naples, Florida. I'm retiring. When? Just as soon as I can find someone to buy the company. I have a contract with this agency. And I'll stipulate that it be honored. But what if the new owner is a bear to work for? Or, you? or if he doesn't advertise as much? What if sales go down or he lowers my commission? I don't like this. I can't control any of that, neither can you. Unless you want to buy me out yourself. I need some money. Do I look like an ATM machine? I have to buy this real estate agency. And this concerns me because... Well, because you're going to lend me the money to buy it. <laughs> oh. Corey, I'll pay you back. I'll even cut you in on the profits. I'm, I'm not lending you any money. Why not? Well, because first of all, I don't have that kind of money. But even if I did, you'd be the last person i trust with it. I know this business inside out. I'll make a fortune. Lori, you don't share well. 
Corey. I suggest you find yourself another sucker. Such as? Well, <clears throat> why don't you try Robert Russo for openers? Robert? Successful man, newly single. I bet he's right for the picking. Hmm, Robert. Anyway, I'd invite you to stay and play, but Beth's on her way. Well, I wouldn't waste my time on you anyway. I'm off to greener pastures. See you later. Thanks for the tip. Happy hunting. Dr. Robbins. Hi, honey. Oh, hey. Let me guess. Robert's gonna make you work late again. No, I've got a different problem. What's that? Well, Kate came into work today and made quite a scene over Jessica and Robert. Jessica? Yeah, she's kind of a basket case and could use some company. Would you mind if I canceled tonight? Don't worry about me. You know, I got some medical journals to look over. You are the greatest. Oh, look, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. By the way, I love you very much. Bye. Bye. Jake, Corey Robbins. You still got that poker game going on tonight? Uh -huh. Any idea why the mall collapsed? That walkway was not designed to hold 400 people. Uh, I've seen the specs, it should have held. Well, between the music blasting and the kids stomping, a sympathetic vibration was created that weakened the fittings. Maybe something's wrong with the concrete. Well, I've already sent a sample in for testing. Make sure I get a copy of that report when it comes in. Will do. Great. Uh, I'll be in touch. Sure. Matt, thanks. Think you believed it? Your report better make you believe it. Now tell me the concrete sample you sent to the lab was not in that building. Trust me. What they're testing will pass with flying colors. Oh, we don't have a problem then, do we? What about Sherlock Holmes? I'll take care of Nick Hadley. Rachel has been scarfing down the brownies you made for her. And thanks a lot for the lasagna. Yeah, it was nice to have someone to cook for. I was lost in this kitchen without Robert around. Still set the table for two. Oh, I'm like a trained monkey. Oh, Kate. Did I tell you it's official? Yeah, I went to the doctor to be tested. I am pregnant. This should be the happiest time of your life. I don't know, instead I'm turning into a raving maniac. Oh, you should have seen me at the office this morning. Pointing my finger at the other woman. That bad? Yeah, it was like another person took possession of my body. I've lost her, Joanna. Just shoot me and put me out of my misery. I'd rather shoot Robert. Maybe it was a mistake to work so hard at getting pregnant. I, I really thought he wanted a baby. Well, of course I wanted a kid. Just that, I mean, Kate made such a, a big production out of it. So you left her? It's kind of extreme, isn't it? Well, <clears throat> Thanks. The truth is, things have been going downhill for a long time. I think I just wanted to get her pregnant to you know, try to save the marriage. That's never a good idea. Tell me about it. <laughs> just a blessing it didn't happen. So, that's it then? It's over? I'm in love with Jessica. As in you want to marry her? Yeah. Does she want to marry you? Please. She doesn't even want to see me. You know, it's not going to do you any good to leave town now. I have got to get away, at least for a few days. Hello? Hi. Oh, it's Matt Dunning. Uh, can I call you back? This isn't a good time. When? Um, like days from now? Oh, but I want to take you out tomorrow night. Uh, sorry, I... I'm on my way out of town. Where are you going? Actually, I don't know. How can you not know? Because I don't know anything anymore, that's how. I'll tell you what. I need to see a business associate in Santa Barbara tomorrow. Why don't you come with me and we'll spend a couple days there? Thanks, but no. You don't like Santa Barbara? I love Santa Barbara. I just don't think we should be traveling together. In your state of mind, I don't think you should be traveling alone. Say yes. I barely know. So get separate rooms. We can get separate rooms, of course. Look, if you don't say yes, I will. Pick me up.
up at nine? Great. I'll see you then. You'll be glad. Matt's a real gentleman. I sent Bart Roshan in. I'd like to make a reservation arriving tomorrow, two rooms. And make those rooms connecting, please. They're coming. One after the other. HBO's biggest season of box office hits ever. A billion dollars of box office. Coming your way. The biggest movies ever. And they're only coming to one place. Mike Proctor is a student at Buckley University. And he's about to become... Hey. Hmm. Hey, Rachel, let you drive to school today? Mm -hmm. I thought that was Trey on cool. Oh, she was running late. I have bagels. Oh, I'll take one with me. So, uh, what's the deal with this uh, kid she met? What's his name? Michael. She hasn't mentioned him. Oh, so all they're worrying for nothing. <laughs> Go figure. Here I've been rehearsing for two days what I was going to say to her to discourage her from seeing him, and it's not even an issue. <laughs> So what'd your sister say about us going out? No problem. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> I bet you didn't even tell her. Yeah. <laughs> so you're afraid to go out with me? I can do whatever I want. Cool. I'll pick you up tonight at 7. What's your address? Um, better get me at the library. I have a, a research paper. History. <laughs> well, what, are you like an A student or something? Well, you know, I figure I shouldn't flunk out the first semester here. <laughs> All right, the library is seven it is. Don't expect me to talk history. Biology, yeah. Uh. Hey, Laura, what's up? Oh, I just stopped by to warn you that um, I have a leaky faucet in the kitchen, so the plumber is going to have to turn off the water for an hour this morning, which means you won't have it in your apartment either, okay? Oh, no problem. I won't be there anyway. Oh, well, I didn't want to be an irresponsible landlady and leave you high and dry. Oh, well, you didn't have to make a special trip. Oh, that's the kind of person that I am. <laughs> oh, got a hustle. Don't work too hard. Hey there, neighbor. Hey, Laura. Hey, what brings you here? Oh, I actually came to see Beth, but um, just as long as I'm here, please know how sorry I am that things aren't going well between you and Kate. Well, not going well would be an understatement. I've moved out. Where are you staying? Hotel. Oh, hotel is just so stuffy. You'll be climbing the walls in no time. Yeah. You know what? I have just listed a rental property that'll be perfect for you. It's a fabulous bachelor's pad. Hey, I am fine. Robert, you have to let me do this for you. You're as much my friend as Kate is. <clears throat> you know, I'll take you to see the place over lunch hour. No, you know, my schedule today is just killer. Okay, okay well, I'll meet you there tonight, okay? I'll, I'll... call Beth at the address. See ya. <sighs> be there. Have you seen Jessica? No, she called in sick. Uh, there's a big flu going around. Hmm. Gorgeous day, isn't it? Uh-huh. I know Cafe up the way. They make a great strawberry pie. Would you like some? I I'm sorry, what'd you say? Strawberry pie. Oh, no thanks. Well, should we take the country road to the highway? The scenic route is worth the extra time. Of course, either way, we can get to Santa Barbara. Or I could put her in high gear and fly straight to the moon for a private concert with the Smashing Pumpkins. They'll sing to you completely naked. What, naked? Uh, just testing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't been paying attention, have I? Yes. I only want half a chance. Half a chance and more. I just feel horrible about this. You can't help it if someone broke into your car. No, now, you trusted me with Walter's papers, and now they're gone. If there is any way I can make it up to you, just say the word. 
Let me help you with that. Okay. Uh, set it there. So you're selling Walter's drafting equipment? May as well. I can't use it. I suppose you have a rapidograph set in there somewhere. Well, let me see. Do you have a price of $10 on this? Yes, that's right. Mrs. Cruz, this drawing is signed by Frank Lloyd Wright. So it is. He's a world-famous architect. This, this could be worth thousands of dollars. Must be a copy. Walter could never afford anything that pricey. This is, uh, this is a genuine article, believe me. It's worth a, at least $20,000. Oh. Lucky for me you came by today. <laughs> I don't feel so bad about those papers getting stolen. Where do you suppose Walter got the money for something like this? So Walter Cruz had a Frank Lloyd Wright drawing. So what? Walter didn't have that kind of money. Well, maybe he picked it up at a second-hand store. That doesn't explain the car. What car? The car he was driving when he died, Robert. That was a brand-new Corvette. That's very expensive. Hey, what do you say? I think Walter was on the take. What? I think he was paid to sign off on substandard building materials at Pacific Mall. Hey, there was nothing substandard about that job. Listen, Robert, believe me. No. No, believe me, okay? I got a call from Building and Safety not 15 minutes ago, and the preliminary report called that walkway collapse an accident due to overcrowding. Oh, what about the concrete test? The concrete checked out 100%. It did? Yes, and that's good news for the firm and for you, because we're not gonna be sued out of business, and you're still gonna have a job. But Walter was Walter paid. is dead, okay? Now, I want this whole thing put behind us. I brought you out here to be an architect, not a detective. Now. This investigation is over, period. Hello? Jay, Corey Robbins. Corey, where are you calling from, Hawaii? I figured with all that dough you won last night, you'd be off on a vacation. No. I'm in town, and I'd like to look for another game. I knew you'd come back to us, I knew it. I should have bet on it. Are you gonna give me the address or not? Not. Tonight's game's off limits for you. How come? The strictly high rollers. Yeah, I mean, that sounds perfect. High rollers, Corey. Hundred dollar ante. You could get eaten alive. I'm on a winning streak, man. Come on, get me in the game. Can't do it. Table's filled. At a chair. Sorry, pal. You're too late. If you've ever had a yeast infection, we've got your number, and it's one. Vagistat One, the first and only one dose. As you can see, everything's in perfect working condition. Mm-hmm. Even the, uh, the hot tub. This is amazing. How did you set this up? Well, I did want you to see the possibilities. <laughs> Champagne? Sure, why not? Try the hot tub. It does look inviting. It's good. Have a little fun. You're a free man. I didn't bring my suit. <laughs> well, you know, I won't tell if you won't. So how much is the rent? How much? Not much. Believe me, this is a steal. <laughs> Not on my budget. Come on, Robert. 
I've seen your busy office. You're bringing money hand over fist. Yeah, and I'm about to dive headfirst into a divorce. And for all I know, Kate will take me to the cleaners. Ah, no, I gotta watch every penny. Well, if I may be so bold, what you need is a sound investment to divert your funds into. Perhaps as a solemn partner. You know, a nice little place to tuck your money that Kate will never know about. No, Kate knows more about our finances than I do. I'd never get away with a stunt like that. I know of a very tempting business opportunity. It's worth a try. Yeah, if I want to go to prison for hiding my assets. <laughs> no, I think I'll just take my lumps. How stoic. Thanks for the tour, the champagne, but I'm gonna have to pass in the rental. A little too rich for me. Yeah, I understand. Well, I'll let myself out front. So long. if you'd let me have the car tonight. I have to get groceries. How long before I can have my own car? How long before you can save up $20,000? You're so funny, you should have your own TV show. I'll pick you up in an hour. No way will I be done in an hour. Come back when the library closes. You have that much research? Hey, if you and Nick want to buy me a computer and hook me up to the internet, feel free. Till then, this old library card is my only hope of passing history. I'll pick you up at 9.30. Bye. Don't talk to strangers, even cute guys. Do you want to give me a break? Hi. Hi. Did you finish your research? Yep. You sure? Because I can go in and help you with it. I'm getting like a D minus in history. <laughs> that bad? Well, I don't know. I buckled down this semester. My grades have soared. <laughs> well, let's go. I have to be back by 9.30. A.M. or P.M.? <laughs> well, I hope you like vegetarian lasagna. Are you kidding? I love it. I've got fresh ricotta cheese. Yeah. From Italian deli lemon ice for dessert. Or, oh. You could have these homemade chocolate chip cookies. Uh, I'll take both. Well, it's the least that I can do to make up for having to cancel our date last night. Unfortunately, dinner's going to be about 30 minutes late. That's well, even better. Oh, why? You're not hungry? Contrary to popular belief, the way a man's heart's not through his stomach. Oh, well, then don't blame me if I burn up dinner. I gotta check that. Sure. Okay. Yes, Dr. Robbins. Now. Okay, yeah, I'll be right there. No, no, don't tell me. Emergency at the hospital. I'm so sorry. But I gotta go. You work too hard. You know, most women consider doctors a catch.
You're kidding. For you. We agreed to separate rooms. And we have them. They're not separate if we open this door. Well, I just want to know if you're ready for dinner. Yes. Now go around to the other door. Of course. Black. <laughs> I'm gonna have to send Rachel to the library more often. Mm-hmm. Oh, she said that she can't do research at home without a computer. How long do you think we can put off buying one for? <laughs> until I find a job. Hmm. Well, you better hurry, because mine may not last long. I thought the building and safety report on the walkway collapse came up quick. I'm not sure yet. Just keep your fingers crossed that Robert isn't to blame. You think he might be? No, it's just... He may have let something slip by. He seems so distracted. It's not the Robert we used to know. All right. You know, Robert would have checked every nook and cranny of that building. He would have checked and double-checked. The old Robert would have never left his wife. I just... You know, what if he's uh, covering up for some mistake the firm made? Whoa. Where are you going? To the mall. I thought Robert said the investigation was over. Uh, officially, yes. Officially, it's over. Unofficially, it's not. Do you have to go now? I just want to check a few things while there's not so many people around. Besides, you have to pick up Rachel. I think we could both wait a while. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Glad you paged me. <laughs> you got lucky. One of the guys cares. Right now, my luck is so good, I'm dangerous. <laughs> How much you want to start with? <laughs> Let's start with five grand. Five thousand. Five G's, baby. Hey, is that check good? Absolutely. Okay. I own the place. What are you doing here? I was showing the house to someone. Like that? No, of course not. I was so discouraged when my client didn't rent your house, I... I jumped into the hot tub to unwind. Miss Sinclair, our listing agreement did not include your personal use of my private property. Just because the house is vacant, don't think it's a free-for-all around here. Could you please lower your voice, okay? I've had a very bad day. So have I. That doesn't give me the right to help myself to any damn thing I want. I'm sorry that you're upset. Oh, no, please, don't worry about it. I'll get over it once I pull the listing. Please, Mr. Caldwell. This is a small misunderstanding. It's certainly not worth getting worked up over it. I'm so completely humiliated being caught here in the state of undress. Can you find it in your heart to, um, forgive me?
good, sir. All right, thanks a lot. See ya. Hey, Dr. Helmsen. Hey, Dad, how are you? I'm, uh, you know, things are going along. Mm -hmm. What'd you call me? <laughs> Hard to get used to, isn't it? Go figure. You and your wife stop coming to the clinic for a few months and look what happens. Congratulations. On what? Oh, no, I hope I haven't spoiled the surprise. Didn't Kate tell you? She's pregnant. L'Oreal brings you Color Endure Stay On Lip Color. Color Endure stays on you. <laughs> you better get going. My sister will be here soon. You said 9.30. It's 9.15. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> One more. Michael, I have to go. What are you, some kind of pervert? I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Joanna! Finish your study. You were spying on me? I came here early just in case you were finished, but you haven't even started. Get off my back! Don't act indignant. You lied to I me. did not. You came here for research. Michael happened to be at the library. Is that a crime? If you had been in the library studying with him, no. Maybe I ran out of ink and he took me to buy a pen. Maybe he could have loaned you one instead. You don't want me to have any friends, do you? That is not true. I just don't want you to lie to me about seeing them, that's all. Especially Michael. Well, if you weren't so freaky and judgmental, I wouldn't have to Rachel, lie. shut what? up! Just shut up! You're not my mother! strength my eye. surprise finding you here. Yeah, well, I felt sorry for you having to work so late. If I want an easy job, I'd sell shoes. <laughs> You've obviously never been shoe shopping with Laura, otherwise you would not say that. Thanks for the warning, but I'll stick with medicine. Can you put your dinner in the fridge? You want me to fix it? No, 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 no. No, you sleep, I'll get it. Well, wake me when you come to bed. I'll help you. I'll take you up on that. Did I mention I had a good time? Yes, you did. Did I mention this door is supposed to stay locked? Oh, my God. There, it's 
It's locked. <laughs> that is not what I meant. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, a little too much to drink. Great. Jessica. I saw your car outside. Look, I know it's late and you probably want to get out of here, but I took a taxi all the way from Santa Barbara to tell you something, so at least listen to what I have to say before you throw me out. What is it? I... I had a date with Matt Dunning. I like him a lot. Huh. Well, you came all the way here in the middle of the night to tell me that? I came here to tell you that the entire time I was with him, I couldn't stop thinking about you. I love you. walkway wasn't designed to hold 400 people. Uh, I've seen the specs. It should have held. Hey, what do you say? I think Walter was on the take. Well, what if the new owner is a bear to work from? I can't control any of that. Neither can you. Unless you want to buy me out yourself. So if I loan you the money for your down payment on your real estate agency, you'll give me... Uh... 3% of the profit. So what'd your sister say about us going out? No problem. 
You liar. Lied to I me. did not. You came here for research. Michael happened to be at the library. I don't want you to lie to me. Just shut up. You're not my mother. So you left Kate? I'm in love with Jessica. Lo and behold, Jessica Mitchell is the other woman. <laughs> had a date with Matt Dunning. Well, you came all the way here in the middle of the night to tell me that? I came here to tell you that I love you. Congratulations. On what? Didn't Kate tell you? She's pregnant. Oh, come on, I've got to get going. No, 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 no. Relax. It's Saturday. And I've got a ton of things to do to get ready for Laura's surprise party. So what time did you say that Laura was gonna get back from work? Six. Her boss is keeping her at the office all day long. How about a swim? No, I didn't bring my swimsuit. That's the idea. No, no! What if somebody sees us? Okay, well, I'll bite them in. <laughs> Come on, isn't there anybody you can bring for Laura? You must know a million cute doctors. Well, I could probably dig somebody out for poor old Laura, yeah. <laughs> Stop teasing. You know I want this to be the best birthday she's ever had. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you mean you're walking away from the deal? I've had second thoughts. I'm not sure investing in a real estate agency is such a good idea. Yeah, well, you loved the idea that night in the hot tub, didn't you? Now, look, I, I never said oh, for sure... Oh, Bull, you gave me your word! That was before I talked it over with my wife. Your wife? You talked it over with your wife? Um, well, you know, there are a few little things I could talk to your wife about, too, aren't there? I don't want any trouble. No, just get out! Was he a client? No. Good. Because if he was, I think we need to work on our salesmanship. What is it about me the wives don't like? <laughs> <laughs>